<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, if you got in, if you got two hands, I want you to use both of them and clap real loud and bring. To, if you don't have two, I want you to hit your chest. No, turn this up, turn this up. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, my man, Leonard Oots. Well, it feels good to be home. I seen niggas I ain't seen in so long. I ain't seen nigga boy. I went by my first plug house. That nigga still selling weed, but he done upgraded what he's selling though. I like, I just need a nick. He like, I don't do nicks no more. It's either 3.5 or better. Okay. <laughs> I miss my drug dealers. I just, see, I smoke weed. I'm a weed smoker. I was living in LA, and people, people think that buying weed in LA is fun. It's whack. You ever been to a dispensary? That shit is the worst place on earth, because they do everything opposite that you do as a real nigga buying weed. They, first off, you buying from white people. <laughs> You go to a specific building, they got security, it's cameras. Nigga, you buying it on camera. <laughs> you smile, you gotta give them your card. Nigga, I ain't never bought weed with no card. Tell me, uh-uh, wait for your receipt. Like, nah, you know what, just... <laughs> just burn that. I like buying weed from niggas. I love buying weed from a nigga you don't know, in the middle of the mall. <laughs> you scared, he's scared. You can tell when the drug dealer's scared, they'll be like, hold on, 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 hold on. Why they do that with their hand? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He started asking my parents, who that? Nigga, we in the cafeteria. I don't know who is who. One nigga got samples. I think it's orange chicken. I don't know. I hate a scared drug dealer. They hold the process up. Hold on, hold on. You know, I can't be out here like that. But bitch, you out here like that. I had a nigga get so scared one time, he did some shit I ain't never seen. He was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, walk off, walk off, walk off. <laughs> this was my first time. I ain't know what to do. I followed this nigga. I was like, I don't know where we going. <laughs> Can we stop by Best Buy? I got to get a game first. <laughs> Just drop the weed, nigga. I'm tired. Just drop the weed. I like to buy my weed from a nigga. I know I can guilt this nigga. Like, come on, bro. He like, all right, all right, all right, all right. I ain't know you was gonna check right here. You just like your daddy, boy. You be on it. This way you strong too. This way you, you doing some shit you ain't supposed to do in public. Make you feel comfortable and you ain't supposed to be comfortable outside. I was so high a few weeks ago in the club, I ate one of my boogers in the middle of the club. <laughs> it was a big booger too. I pulled it out like, it, you ever had a front be dry but the back be wet? That shit slapped my lip. I licked the little. Mm. I'm the only one eat their boogers still. Everybody here eating ass and pussy and dick, but don't nobody eat their own boogers. You ever pull a booger out your nose so big you breathe different after? You taste the air. You be like, oh, it's gonna rain next Thursday. It's it's a wind chill coming from the northeast region. I'm a weed smoker. We smoke. I, I, I can't date a woman that don't smoke weed. Females don't smoke weed or the devil. You know I ain't lying. As soon as you like the blunt, this bitch lungs collapse. <laughs> like, bitch, we outside. Relax. <laughs> my ex used to get on my fucking nerve. I don't know why you got to smoke so much, because, bitch, you talk so much. <laughs> don't talk shit about the weed. The weed make me like you more. When I get high, I like to kiss, we can cuddle. You can talk, I listen. I mean, really listen too, like, damn, so Keisha said what? <laughs> See, they don't appreciate you at their job, I told you that. My ex is religious too, super religious. I ain't like that. I don't like that suit. Like, I'm religious, but I ain't, you know, I didn't get to pick my religion, so I ain't too tied to it. I was a kid and I was taken to church. I didn't just like, oh, let's go, to, let's go to church today. That wasn't me. Jesus said, God said. I appreciate the Lord, but you ain't gonna use him like a gun just to get your way. God said you ain't supposed to do that. 
Why every time I want some pussy, God says something. God ain't say nothing about that pussy. <laughs> I had a girl do that one time a few years ago. She was at my crib. We was, I had licked the, the left titty and everything. So you know the left one, that's the freaky titty. When you, I licked it, and we was finna get, we was finna get going. And she was like, you know what? I don't think I can do this. This ain't in the Bible. God didn't want us to do. I, I was like, all right. I was like, all right, cool. I, I relaxed. And she got up and walked towards the door. And I sat on the couch, turned the TV on. And then she was like, she was like, you're not gonna walk me to my car? I was like, God got you. <laughs> you read the Bible, even though you shall walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil. <laughs> you gonna get to your car fine. It be my luck, cause I'm a heathen. <laughs> I walk you to your car, then I get robbed on my way back. <laughs> Come on now, walk how you talk. Don't be trying to halfway do it. Now Jesus said, now he didn't. <laughs> I don't like that because that's why me and my ex broke up. Because it, it, when she want to win an argument, now God said this. Yeah, like she want to get married. I'm like, I, I do want to get married at some point. She was like, well, and I'm like, my only thing is we got to live together first. I'm not marrying somebody I ain't never lived with. What? That sounds crazy as hell. In 2022, I'm not marrying nobody I ain't never lived with. She's like, well, that's not in the Bible. God don't want you shacking up. It's like, God never got married. Who he married? <laughs> Let's keep it 100. God, the first baby daddy. <laughs> he came out there, tore that man, woman up, and then left. Didn't even come to the baby shower or nothing. <laughs> Everybody was at the baby shower. Niggas traveled from all over the world to Jesus' baby shower. Niggas from Jerusalem, Bethlehem, three niggas from Portsmouth. <laughs> God was looking down with his Burberry sweat on like, damn, that shit look lit. I believe in Christian. I believe in it, but I also believe I wouldn't have hung out with Jesus. I would not have hung out with Jesus. I say it again because I know some of y'all. Like, I can't believe you. I would not have hung out with Jesus. And how he gonna affect my life if he ain't around me? Don't nobody ever think about that. Oh, he was my Lord and Savior. He gonna keep you from how if he ain't around? I know he don't want to hang with me. I like hoes. I love. I wish I would have a room full of hoes, and I go to the bathroom. And come back, and these bitches are like, you right, Jesus. We need to get our shit together. Jesus, let me talk to you in my office. Because I'm finna call. Your father need to go and call you home. Because this is some bullshit. Went to church. Vacation Bible school. All of it. I believe in the Bible. I also believe the Bible is very creative. It's a story. It go from here to there. It got songs. It got scriptures, poems. Who wrote the Bible? Don't nobody know. They might have been high. You don't know. You're not creative. You got to be to write something like that. Then some of the stories, the character got to be high, or you got to be high reading the story for the story to make sense. Moses in the burning bush. What other bush you set on fire and talk to other than weed? <laughs> exactly. I almost quit my job one time. The blunt started talking to me. I mean, I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. The blunt said, boy, if you leave, you can't, you can't buy no more of me. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Let me go clock back in. Let me go clock back in. <laughs> How about Noah and the ark? Don't nobody ever talk about Noah. You telling me Noah built a whole ark with no Ikea instructions? <laughs> and then he went in the jungle and got two of every type of animal. You know how high you got to be to do inventory in the jungle? You telling me he called two lions, two tigers, two bears, two flavor flaves? Come on, man. You telling me Noah called two butterflies? Two butterflies. So now either Noah got to be high or mentally handicapped because they're the only people that can touch butterflies. And if you ain't laughing, fuck you. Your regular ass ain't never caught no butterfly. It's always that kid in the neighborhood that bite other kids. He spin around like this in the middle of the street. His hands be sweaty as hell. He done caught the butterfly and drowned the butterfly. He walk around drinking the shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck is you drinking? He's like, it's butterfly juice. <laughs> I know I said a buzzword, handicap. When you hear handicap, boy, ain't nothing funny now. I got handicapped people all in my family. So er, er, something wrong with everybody in my family. I got an uh, uncle that's handicapped. I got a cousin that's gay. I got a, another cousin that's mentally handicapped. I'm fat. Nigga, there's something wrong with everybody. And 
feel bad for nobody. I, I know these motherfuckers. My, my, my cousin still be fucking. My uncle still, my uncle be getting pussy. He, and he got one of them little arms that people be talking about. They call it a chicken wing, but I don't like that. Because you can open a chicken wing. This nigga can't open this. I don't call it a chicken wing. I call it the coin slot. You ever had to do laundry? You put like a dollar fifth in it and you push that slot in? That boy slot stuck. This nigga, this nigga supposed to be folding clothes, but he got his shit. He got a dollar fifty worth of wash and dry. I got a pair of jeans I ain't seen in two years because this nigga arm can't come back. I got a gay cousin. He been gay since we was kids. True story. That nigga consistent. I used to tell my uncle all the time, you know, you can't whoop him. He like that. <laughs> Don't nobody get a whooping with their back arch. Come on now. Like, that's... <laughs> Gay people nowadays so strong, we done put them through so much bullshit. We done went through so many phases with gay people. We, we really ain't shit, for real, for real. Remember early 2000s, if you was gay, oh, he gay. Get the kids. Hide the kids. He gay. <laughs> Then man, we tried to trick him. Like, if you gay, it's okay. It's not really okay. We just saying that to see. We just saying that to see who's gonna say they gay. Remember we said gay people was confused? Remember that? What's going on with cousin Tony? Tony just a little confused. He trying to figure shit. Tony like dick. He ain't confused. He like it so much, he skip about it. You know how much you gotta like something to skip? I'll tell you what's confusing. Sex is what's confusing. At least how they teach it to us. We all learn about sex the same dumb ass way. They use a stupid ass analogy that don't make sense to nobody. The birds and the bees. When you ever seen a pregnant bird with a bee baby daddy? Please tell me. Because you know you'd have seen that episode of Maury. What? That episode of Maury? It started out with the bird tripping. Maury. Stingers don't even run in my family, Maury. He got a stinger in the BBO. Yo, Maury, I got to the bitch nest. It was mad pollen already there. Who pollen was that? Like, Maury be like, okay. In the case of three month old Bumblebird, you are not the. Yeah, I told y'all that bitch a dirty bird. She a falcon. I won't fuck with these crows. I got me a bad little blue jay at the crib right now. <laughs> Dating. Dating is hard. Because I'm fat and I'm cute. It be hard. It be because I'm always the first fat boyfriend. I be having to teach them shit. Like how to make my plate. <laughs> I remember I was at this girl's house one time. She brought me my plate and she was holding it regular. Like it was like, like that's not, that's, that ain't mine. <laughs> you bring my plate, my plate. You're supposed to have to balance that motherfucker. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I know what my plate, she put it down and she ain't lick her thumb. You're supposed to have to lick your thumb because she was holding the baked beans on. You supposed to drop my plate in the other place and get scared. Oh, he got collard greens. <laughs> you know I ain't lying. I be with these in shape yoga mat carrying motherfuckers. Never wake up to shit cooking. Never wake up to bed. You ever been woken up to smell of food? Your stomach hard as hell. Oh, your stomach like nigga, get up. Get up, nigga, something going on. Huh, huh? I wake up to a blender. Yee! Babe, come get a quinoa smoothie. <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Women want spontaneous shit. You gotta know yourself. This ain't a spontaneous body. Sometimes I need to know you wanna fuck. I can wash these balls again. Because I'm going to do shit. You're going to want something. We're going to go out. We're going to have fun. We're going to go shopping. i buy your son some shoes or something. Kids' shoes will be $62. I, I can do that. Ain't nothing but an eighth. Ain't nothing but an eighth or some good shit. 
And one time I was hanging out with this chick. She was like, you know what? This is how you know a chick wants you to spend some more money. You such a real nigga. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> so let's go to the bathroom. I want to suck your dick. I was like, ah. <laughs> as good as that sound. <laughs> We've been walking around this mall for two hours. <laughs> Baby, this dick stank. <laughs> and anybody with balls in here know what I'm talking about. That motherfucker get to stanking. You ever go to the bathroom to pee, you pull your dick out, you're like, did I pull my dick or my ass out? What the fuck? <laughs> Cause the back of them balls and that right where that thigh at, the back of the, that little that little moist area, that little condensation, that little gook. You know what I'm talking about? That little, that little salamander spit that be back there. Cause it ain't no regular liquid. You could you could do like this with sweat. That shit, you gotta find a brick somewhere. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the bathroom, baby. This dick lemon pepper wet right now, you know. Your blood pressure gonna go through the roof. <laughs> Trying to date, man. You gonna like somebody? I wanna like somebody. I want. I want that that old school, that pure, that that third grade, fourth grade. I kill myself. You don't read my note, like. Remember that elementary school, that middle school love, when you was like, I'll kill me. This bitch don't come to class today, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I know I ain't the only one. You be like, where Keisha at? Nah, nah, Miss Johnson, call Keisha house, make sure she all right. Cause I can't do the rest of this semester if she ain't gonna be here. You ever, got, you ever write a note? Remember them notes? I never really did the check box. I did that one time, but I, it was like, do you like me? Yes. And that was it, because I ain't, ain't going to give you an option to say no, bitch. <laughs> yes. I like you, so that means you like me, motherfucker. My notes was more lyrics. I write a bitch a song quick. What, boy? Oh, I'm trying to tell you, Joe never let me down. Y'all remember Joe, bald head Joe? Boy, my note. I want to know. I want to know what turns you on. Yeah. I like to know. Well, but I used to write freaky notes too. I got caught one time, my teacher made me read a note and I told her, I was like, look, just gonna send me home. <laughs> you don't want me to read this note. Class gonna be over if I read this note. She ain't listening. You know, sometimes you like, I know them. You ain't gonna be able to get the motherfuckers calm down after this. It's like, no, you want to take your time to write that note. Come on up here and share what you wrote. I'm like, all right. <laughs> girl, give me that pussy. My homeboy was in the back like, oh, 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 girl, give me, girl, give me. He said, get out of the classroom. I said, you don't want to tell me to read the note, bitch. I told you didn't want me to read this. Going on dates. Worst date, it wasn't even a bad date. It was just she ain't let me know where we was going. I had a chick take me to the aquarium. Yeah, like, what the fuck we at the aquarium? You ain't saying we going to the aquarium. I'm in the parking lot thinking we finna get something to eat. I just smoked two blunts. I walk in, I see a big ass tank full of fish. In my mind, I'm like, nigga, hibachi. <laughs> I'm all on the glass. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, let me get the nigga with the scales. Yeah, we gonna flambe him. My little sister dating. <laughs> My little sister dating, she's 25. She just built her own house. Yeah, doing her thing, sucking dick. <laughs> she built her own house. I mean, I'd rather her suck dick in her house than outside. <laughs> like some of y'all sisters. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> she dating. I met her boyfriend. Her boyfriend, like 6'2, 240, all muscle. That's how quiet I got when this nigga walked in the house. <laughs> she had a nerd to ask me, well, what would you do if he hit me? It's like, well, what would you do if he hit you? <laughs> I'ma do whatever you do. You scream, I'ma scream. <laughs> I ain't no punk. I, you know, I was raised right. You don't put your hands on a woman. And if you see something, you say something. They ain't say do nothing. <laughs> I done did my part. I, Cause I done said something before and it almost, it almost fucked my life up. <laughs> I used to open for Tony Rock when I first started doing comedy. I used to open for Tony Rock, and we go out after after shows. We in the club one night. We in Cleveland. I never forget. I'm drinking. I done smoked the blunt, and then dude just slapped his girl in the middle of the club. Boop. 
and I'm high, I had an out of body experience. Because my body went over there, but my mind was like, no, nah, nigga, no. Nah. My body was like, uh, the bottle over there, the bottle, the bottle on the hose over here. I'm like, uh, I gotta stop this. You ever try to, because I'm tough, but like tough and then being aggressive is two different things. People never think about that. Yeah, you could, I can defend myself, but I don't want to scare, I'm not trying to scare nobody. Until it's time to scare somebody and you can't do it. Try, you ever try to say something tough to somebody that is tough? And then they say something back and it's like, oh shit. <laughs> I was in dude's face, I really ain't know what to say. I ain't really had it all together. I was like, hey bro, you know you're not supposed to put your hands on these females like that. He said, no, I hit niggas too. I said, damn. <laughs> I didn't know he was hitting everybody. They didn't tell me he was hitting everybody. They told me at the door it was ladies' night. I thought he was only hitting women. Now I'm scared because I'm a nigga, but I got titties too. I don't know if you're gonna hit me twice. Is it carryover slaps? He hitting men and women. This nigga by slap you. He went to school for this. He got a degree. He went to ICDC. He was on that commercial. From here, you can go anywhere. Nigga had on a white tee with black forces. I knew he was up to no good. <laughs> From Chesapeake. That's the crib, yeah. I like, I, I grew up in a Navy, it's a Navy town, so it's like, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I, be, get, I be understanding racism, but I don't get it because I grew up around everybody. Like I got to do all my favorite shit with everybody, no matter what you was, black, white, you know, Asian, Hispanic, other, whatever else, you know, there is. <laughs> I ain't finna name all the, I don't know all the races, you know. I, every day it's a new race. No, you know, I'm black and black, 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 black. You what? I'm black and black, black, black. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lot about white people fast just because I was around them. Like, black people grow, we grow up thinking shit about white people that ain't true. Like, like, black people really think that because you got white friends, they treat you better than your black friends, and that's not true. The, the truth is, white people treat you like friends, black people treat you like family. I can prove it. You a white dude, right? <laughs> you got to ask. He be like, no, I'm actually Puerto Rican. It's like, oh, all right. <laughs> I came over your house tonight, you probably make me a drink, right? I come over tomorrow, you probably make me a drink. All right. You come to my house tonight, I'm going to make you a drink. You come tomorrow... Motherfucker, you know where them cups at. <laughs> I don't mean no harm, but I don't work for you. Damn sure not in my house. You know what I mean? Little things that we think that ain't true. Like black kids grow up thinking white kids don't get whoopings. That's not true. White kids don't get as many whoopings because they get, they get mental beatings. I'm for real. That's why white kids be in therapy at nine. Why are you late to school, Tanner? Well, I had therapy this morning. How you in therapy at nine? Black folks, we, we just now thinking about mental health. You 30, just now like, man, maybe, maybe something wrong. Because every time he says, mama, I'm, I'm feeling, but take your ass to your room. Now you in your room talking to yourself, I should kill myself. Yeah, you should. You done turn into gun, I'm depressed. That's why I'm here to bridge the gap. White kids get mental. I got a white friend named Tanner. I really hung out with Tanner. Tanner, Tanner fucked up one day in school. I don't know what he did, but his daddy got to tripping. His daddy was tripping. He was like, you know what, Tanner? This is some real malarkey, pal. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, you know what? I, Jesus H. Christ. I was like, nigga, Jesus got a middle name? <laughs> He was like, you got everybody in the house. Everybody in the family's mad at you. I was like, damn, this is what he said. This is what he said, fuck me up. He was like, you know what, Tanner, you should go to your room. I don't even want to see your face. I said, ooh, he said, you know what, matter of fact, I want you to think about this. Your grandfather's probably turning over in his grave right now. I said, damn. Because I started thinking, what can you actually do for somebody to turn over in their grave? For a nigga to be dead, be like, this nigga here, God damn. <laughs> Cause I started thinking, my granddaddy got a fucked up hip. So somebody gotta dig this nigga up and flip him over. That's, I might well just get my shit together. 
But you don't know if you're not there. I was there. I was there for them sleepovers. You ever spend a night over somebody's White House? Yes, yeah, not. Boy, that shit's amazing, ain't it? White, the whole head is the white experience is different. Tanner House was different. First off, first off, white parents just, that's just, I don't know. Do y'all not be stressed? Do y'all not have no, white, it's like white people live with no stress. Like, you not white, nigga. Anyway, <laughs> just shut your ass up. Let me get through this. Yeah, we stress. His nigga, he, he black, but he identify as a. <laughs> nigga so high, he don't even know what race he is. This nigga sleep. <laughs> yeah, we stress. Nigga, I know you stress. Nigga, you, you black and got dressed. Nigga, you look like your name Jamal. Nigga, I know. They ID you everywhere you go. The usher at church be like, hold on, nigga. We hold on. We need to see. <laughs> like I was saying. Because white, pe- white parents be so spontaneous. Black parents not spontaneous. You got to plan to sleep over. You got to have two, good, two three good pro- progress reports. <laughs> Your mama start asking you shit. Ma, can I have a sleepover? Did you clean my baseboards? <laughs> Bitch, baseboards? <laughs> Who the fuck cleaned the baseboard? Ain't nobody eating off the baseboards? <laughs> the whole house? I got to walk around the whole house scrubbing the floor? White parents just be like, you know what, Tanner? We won the soccer game, sleepover. <laughs> sleepover. Tell all your friends. Tanner be like, Leonard, you want to stay tonight? I'm like, yeah, I want to. Like, go ask your mom. I'm like, I had some shit happen earlier today. <laughs> we was in the grocery store. I touched some shit I wasn't supposed to touch. We got to let her, let her simmer down. My daddy been fucking up, too. You know, it's a family. Everything. It's a family decision. I got to hold on. Want me to go ask for you? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Tanner. My mama don't like she don't like when I have representatives speak on my behalf. My mama don't really be feeling that type of shit. She don't really. I try to come up with excuses why I can't go. I don't even got no clothes. <laughs> Tanner, like, don't worry, we got a lost and found in my house. I'm like, I'm like Tanner, I don't even wear your size. He's like, don't worry, it's a big and tall section. It's a big and tall section. In the lost and found in your house? White parents come in there and play with you. What we doing, guys? My mama say the same shit. What y'all niggas doing in there? Y'all better quiet that down before I start sending folk home. God damn. You suspending people from the house? My mama make you not even feel welcome. Tanner day, like, just send them. Now, I'm going to take them home. Now, now, he, he come take a shower. We can feed them. My mama, the opposite, make sure you feed him before he come. <laughs> we ain't got no extra rags, and your son don't really be, you know, they heard, we be at school stinking a little bit. We need him to. <laughs> you can make noise at Tanner House all night. It's like, it's the Matrix over there. Don't nobody work. Don't nobody got to go to work in the morning. <laughs> they just over there, just living. It's three in the morning. We run around the house playing tag. I hear Tanner, they go, Tanner, what in tarnations? I'm like, what the fuck is Tarnations? <laughs> Tanner was like, my, fa- my bad dad, we we're just playing a game of tag. His dad was like, without me? <laughs> Said, I got something for you, Busters, because I'm it. One, two. They took off running. I froze. I, honestly, I ain't know what to do, because I ain't never heard no black parent count up. Hell no, nah, but they will count down on your ass fast, won't they? And my mama used to do the gangster chore countdown. You ever had your mama count down from five and name some shit that better magically be done? She thought threatening the whole house. Like, y'all got five seconds to be in that bed. Because if I got to get out of my bed, I'm whooping everybody ass. That's your ass, your daddy ass, your sister. The dog better not roof, roof, nothing. Five. And your clothes better be ironed for school in the morning, too. Four, and your teeth better be brushed. Three, and it better be some gas in my car. But ain't no motherfucking gas in my car. Damn, bitch, I don't even pump gas. I'm in kindergarten. <laughs> Got to go by my old job today. I had fun. You know, ain't nothing better than going by your old job. Shit, no, like, yeah, you know. <laughs> I don't work here no more. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. Still ain't shit in here. I see. 
No, I'm bullshit. Man, I used to have I used to, I, I used to hate it. I used to have fun. Though. I used to work at IHOP. I used to be a server at IHOP. That shit used to suck. You know how hard it is to smoke weed, be big, and take orders? Because I'd be, shut your dumb ass up. God damn. And you got Tourette's or something? That boy came in here with a suit shirt to say, no. Yes. You all right? You good? What you drinking? You said you got abs? But I don't give a fuck. I like not having abs. I like when niggas like you girlfriend suck my dick and they head keep hitting my stomach. They're like she head button herself. Like, I can't stand my nigga. I'm like, yeah, I know. Oh, you slow. I'm sorry. My bad. Oh, he's slow. Why y'all put the slow nigga in the front? Yo, your man slow for real, bro? Like, for, he slow? What y'all was smoking? Y'all did some crack? Because you high, but you quiet. This nigga high. This nigga, he got that Ray Charles lean. He got that. Georgia. Mm -mm. You good? That nigga. Nah, he not. Something wrong. Can we? This man, he keep throwing his hands up. I didn't ask you nothing. I didn't ask that nigga nothing. I swear I ain't. I came up here not to say nothing to nobody. This nigga here with his little earthworm braids. I be trying. I got cameras in here, niggas. And you come to act a fool today? God damn. What, nigga? What you what? What? Damn. Look, it be ugly. That's why I don't like skinny niggas. But skinny niggas don't respect nothing. Oh, one plate eating ass nigga, shut up. <laughs> I ain't never met a nigga wanna sit in the front and talk. Where the camera at? Put the camera on this nigga. You, you want the camera on you? Is that what it is? You want some, you want some, some showtime? Boy, boy, these them, see, that's why you gotta make sure. Fathers, black fathers, stay in your son's life. <laughs> we need you in our community more than ever now. Because if you ain't home to teach your son not to say shit at the front show of a comedy show. <laughs> that nigga came in here like he worked at the Cheesecake Factory outfit. That boy was supposed to bring some pasta in this motherfucker. This nigga really is <laughs> See, now I go back to what I said about black people and white friends. If I had my white friend, they would have sat right there. <laughs> white friend would have been like, I'm sorry, Leonard, go ahead, keep, continue. <laughs> this nigga want to argue. <sighs> All right. <laughs> you ever had to calm yourself down? All right, hold on, let's, let's relax. We had a good day. It was sunny today. You almost got some head, that count for some. You ever almost got some pussy? Like, boy, I had a good day. I almost, almost. Her son kept calling. I almost. <laughs> but you ever ask, you ever, like, how your son calling? He three. He be on his tablet. This nigga is too advanced. This nigga calling while you sucking dick and you on a, on a tablet? I better know how to pull up Instagram. This nigga on the tablet calling people, making orders. That single mama pussy be good. It'd be stressful sometimes. You ever try to help that? Like, I can't find a babysitter. Let me see who I know that can come in and sit there. <laughs> nah, I know somebody. My homeboy, he'll come over there. Why he going? Now, he might serve a couple ounces out your crib, but. <laughs> Boy, you know it's expensive, but you don't know it. Roof Chris. Boy, any, I don't go in nowhere where it be a la carte. First off, I didn't, I didn't know what that meant at first. I was eating, I was like, why the fuck this shit? First off, the steak was $12, but the, the, the size was 82. <laughs> why the fuck, it, it's like the more ingredients that come in the size, the more expensive it be. Now you want spinach, it's $3. Cream spinach, nigga, $83. <laughs> I'm like, why I say everything's a la carte? I'm like, I don't even know a la to be, put that shit in my car, I'm Christian. That's, that's why Allah blowing shit up, because y'all expensive than a motherfucker. You tired of this. <laughs> you said, what's good? I did too, Ruth Chris. That shit was hitting. 334 for all four of y'all? Oh, yeah, y'all was in there eating. That's why that boy belly looked like that. That boy sitting there. That boy linked back like a motherfucker. 
Hey, what y'all had? I like the stuffed chicken. Lamb. lamb. Oh, you said lamb. Like that was the lamb. <laughs> Brussels sprout. Yeah, see, it's people like you. See, you don't eat at IHOP, though, do you? You love IHOP? What you get there, though? Regular shit, right? Like pancakes, just pancakes. Um, okay, that's, that's breakfast, though. Like, I had a, like, IHOP got certain shit on the menu. First off, they got a, a full menu. It's four pages. It should just be one, just pancakes. <laughs> like, IHOP got certain shit on there that's just, just decoration, just filler. <laughs> like, yeah, they got T-bones, but if you don't got health insurance, nigga, mm. <laughs> I had this lady order a T-bone one day. It's how arrogant she acted that threw me off. She was like, um, yes. I would like the T-bone. <laughs> when, when one white person go, hmm. Can you tell the chef I like it medium rare? The dude at a whole nother table like, she say chef? I'm like, yeah, she tripping, hold on. <laughs> I got this, I got this. Like first off, you want your T-bone from IHOP. That's where this joke should end. I'ma need you to sign this health waiver. Cause we ain't even get this meat off a truck. We got it out the trunk of a 09 Honda Accord. <laughs> and ain't no chef at IHOP. It's a nigga named Breon back there. <laughs> he didn't study abroad? Nah, but he killed abroad. This nigga got a, this nigga got an ankle bracelet on. You talking about chef. I used to hate IHOP. I used to work graveyard shift. That'd be like, like right now, like 10 p.m., 6 a.m. But we don't never get, like, it's not an upscale spot, so we ain't getting people like y'all, nice, well-dressed, upscale. We, are, we getting, you know what I mean? We getting the Halloween costume-looking motherfuckers. <laughs> Goblins and ghouls and... We getting all the stragglers. Y'all know stragglers, the bitches that didn't get chose at the club. <laughs> I remember one time Chris Brown had a concert, and I don't know if they was just giving out coupons to the big girls that was there, and I'm not trying to be funny. I'm big, too, but the, it, it ain't nothing you want to see when you're the only server on the floor. You do not want to see Toyota Corollas full of big girls pulling up. <laughs> and why they always in Toyota Corollas? What's the suspension be suspended on the motherfuckers? <laughs> you can hear them hitting the curb, gink, gink, gink. I'm like, one, two, three, four. And they don't just be like regular, like nice, sweet, innocent. You know the big girl that be like, oh, I'm good. I don't want to eat. It be the ghetto. You ever seen the ghetto big girl, the fat girl? She got the shirt on, like Chris Brown shirt, but it stopped right here. The belly button be the, be the mouth of the shirt. She got on them flip flops with the fur. You don't know what kind of fur that is. You don't know if it's chimpanzee skin or pit bull fur. Ghetto bitches. Now, now I'm going to be comfortable. These bitches done snatched the table off the wall. We're going to be comfortable. We're going to put their table together. We're going to be comfortable. We're going we gonna to have space. This little raggedy ass I hop. Why these why these boots so tight? You know what I mean? <laughs> like we both can't sit there, baby. Just just go on, get up. Just they done stack the tables together. They sitting down. I come to take their drink order. These bitches already holding forks. I'm like, what the fuck is y'all in here? Hungry, hungry. <laughs> Two of the cooks walked out. They're like, I ain't gonna deal with this bullshit tonight. <laughs> Then the leader walked in, Deja walked in that motherfucker. Everybody know a big girl named Deja. Her second in command stood up, hear ye, hear ye. She start ordering, I'm thinking she just reading the menu. This bitch ordering. Pancakes, waffles, omelets, steak tips, chicken tenders, pot roast, the sandwich and the dinner plate. I'm like, bitch, don't none of this go together. Her friends talking about, turn up, bitch. I'm like, turn up. Didn't you just see them cooks quit? <laughs> y'all turn up anyway. Y'all got to come back here and help cook some of this shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers ate us out of napkins. How you eat us out of napkins? Napkins is when you done. How you eat us out of napkins? <sighs> I was living in L.A. It was cool. Got to audition for a lot of shit. Got to audition for a lot of shit. I auditioned to play a gay angel one time. A gay angel. I ain't get the part. I wasn't even going to do the audition at first. Because, you know, you, know, you want to feel like, man, I wouldn't sell out. I wouldn't. But, nigga, the money they offer you is. 
I was gonna be the I was gonna be the gayest angel. You hear me? <laughs> the gayest. Cause at first I cussed my agent out. I man, fuck y'all. I can't believe y'all would send me this shit. The first line in the in the script was, oh heavens no. Oh like, man. They were like, Leonard, we're sorry. It was just the quote that they gave us for you. You know, they wanted to give you 50,000 episodes. I was like, man, I don't give a fuck. They were like, it's 22 episodes. I was like, I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> but by the time I got to the audition, I had my own lines. I was like, nigga, I'm, I'm going to win this. They were like, Leonard, we ready? You, have you read the script? I was like, I got something else. I said, just, just close your eyes. I got my own. <laughs> got my own script. I said, all right, imagine I'm on a cloud sucking dick and action. I said, you better not come on my wings. They were like, we think we've seen enough. I said, no, 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 I can do more, I can do more. I actually auditioned to play Batman too, this, this new Batman movie that came out. I'm for real. I auditioned to play Batman. I'm tired of seeing a white Batman. I'm sorry, I ain't, ain't nothing against white people, but y'all had, had a hell of a run. <laughs> Batman, they ain't got the right imagination for Batman. They, they, why Batman always gotta be sad? If Batman was black, he'd take that same story and be lit. <laughs> what? You by yourself, your parents dead, you a billionaire, and you got a mansion. That sounds like House Party 17 to me. <laughs> Batman's supposed to be black. Black Batman be so lit. This nigga pull up to fight crime. He got Rihanna in the passenger seat. <laughs> that bitch, put that cigarette out. <laughs> Ella, Ella, Ella. <laughs> I get it though. I get it. Batman gotta be white. White men have an unfair advantage over black men. Because white men don't have lips, and that's half a Batman costume. <laughs> And if you think I'm bullshitting, I, I can prove my point right now. I could take five white guys out the crowd right now, stand them up on stage, and cover their face like this. <laughs> I can't tell Peter, Paul, or Patrick. <laughs> Batman can't show up to say today with no juicy ass lip. <laughs> he can't show up like, stop, I'm Batman. You be like, nigga, that's Steve Harvey. I know Steve Harvey. <laughs> hey man, y'all been a lot of fun. I'm another dude. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all for coming out. Y'all have a good one. Hello. 